Wow, that is a really cool yellow terrapin. Why does it have a white hole on its top shell? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This is a one-year-old male albino red ear slider that came in with a complaint of wounds and holes developing in the shell. These white holes are not just found on the top shell, there are many others at the bottom and at the bridge of the shell. Upon examination, the vet concluded that the red ear slider was suffering from shell rot. There were a total of six shell rots, two on the top shell and four on the bottom shell. What is shell rot? How is it formed? Shell rot is usually caused by fungal infections where the fungi grow and feed on the shell of the terrapin. It is contagious and common in aquatic turtles or terrapins. At first, it might look like just a white decolorized spot on your terrapin. However, once the fungal infection has been there for quite some time, it will cause big wounds and holes in the shell, just like in this albino red ear slider. Here is the procedure of the treatment done on day one. Firstly, the terrapin is washed with chlorhexidine, which disinfects the shell. Next, the vet will scrape the wound to remove the rotten parts of the shell and dirt trapped inside the wound, before rinsing off all the dirt. Once the dirt is rinsed off, hydrogen peroxide is placed inside the wound to kill off all the bacteria present. The terrapin is then rinsed and brushed with antifungal solution. After that, an antibiotic injection is given. On a daily basis, the terrapin is given antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. It is washed with antifungal shampoo, then with chlorhexidine. After that, neodym, an antifungal cream, is applied to the wounds. Once that is done, the terrapin will be placed in a dry area overnight. If not treated, the fungi will rot away the shell and even through the bone into the body cavity, which can be fatal. Hence, as soon as you notice a possible shell rot forming on your terrapin, bring it to a vet for proper treatment. It is also not advisable for owners to treat the terrapin by themselves without consulting a vet. In this case, the owner applied Chinese medicated oil onto the shell rot, hoping that it will heal the albino red ear slider. However, it made things worse. Treatment of shell rot does not involve surgery, and hence, it is relatively cheaper and more affordable. With such an expensive albino red ear slider, which can cost more than $500, the safest and cheapest option for treatment is at the vet.